going to go up another, what, 20-something degrees, Michelle, over the course of the day today, a little warmer even than yesterday was, right? Yeah, we hit 90 yesterday, second day in a row, and today we could make it an official heat wave right. with our third straight day at 90 or higher. And, yeah, today it's going to be up a, a couple of degrees. It's not a significant jump, but when you take those slightly higher temperatures and the high humidity, boost that heat index up, enough so that we're under a weather alert today. Let's look at the conditions on our... Hurricane barrier camera, eyeway starting off dry, good visibility this morning. Threat tracker bumped up due to that heat advisory and an air quality alert. We've got the heat index around 100 degrees this afternoon. Friday and the weekend, threat tracker back into that low category. It's warm to start the day, upper 60s to low 70s with the high humidity to boon East Providence. You can see the good visibility here as well. We've been tracking just a little touch of fog in a few communities. You can see that dew point close to 70. Anytime it's hovering around 70, the air feels borderline oppressive, especially factoring in the high temperatures that we have today. So the visibility currently, Rhode Island mostly going to be just fine. If you're traveling north towards Boston, you may encounter some thick fog again around the Boston suburbs. Looking at our forecast high for today, 92, mostly sunny, hot, humid winds, light out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Warmest locations are going to be inland. Still a warm day, though, at the beaches. Mid 80s in Tiverton, 86 near Narragansett, westerly at 86, 82 out on the block. Lower 90s, though, as you head towards Coventry and West Warwick, Cranston and Providence, low 90s. And Woonsocket at about 93 degrees. And we'll see highs in the lower 90s in Attleboro, Taunton, and Freetown. Even New Bedford looking at a high near 91 today. Fall River, you're going to be close to 90 degrees as well. In West Port at about 89. Let's track that heat index for you. You can see it up into the lower 100s potentially at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Still near 100 degrees at 4 in the afternoon. So beaches going to be another fantastic beach day. 85 degrees. Water temperatures in the lower 70s. Surf is low, 1 to 2 feet. Rip current risk is low, but the safe sun time also low, only about 20 to 25 minutes. Southwest winds on the bay today. They see a few uh, gusts to 15 knots. Overall, though, another day of light winds. Visibility a little hazy out there today. So 4 to 7 miles with that air quality warning issued. Our evening commute and conditions later in the night. Another warm night. 80s early on, cooling into the 70s, our late night low staying anywhere from the upper 60s to the lower 70s, similar to the last few nights. So high pressure has been pumping in all the warm air. There is some cooler air lurking, though, over the Great Lakes region, that cold front, and a stay to the north of us all the way into tomorrow afternoon. So we line up one more hot day here in southeast New England. But once that front comes through Friday night, the humidity drops, the temperatures noticeably cooler across New England on Saturday. You can see those 3 o'clock temperatures between about 75 and 80. Still tracking three disturbances. Is in the tropics is this one in the Caribbean, though, that uh, may quickly develop into a major hurricane when it enters the Gulf of Mexico. Where it heads exactly, still yet to be seen. But from Louisiana, Mississippi to Texas, they really have to be on high alert. Is this system going to, again, approach by early next week? Doesn't give a lot of time to prepare, given that broad area that's under uh, potential to see some impact. So seven-day forecast, 92 today. There is a slight chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon and evening with a cold front coming through. 70s for Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Could see another chance for a cold front to swing through, giving us a passing shower or thunderstorm. WPRI.com for the latest forecast throughout the day.